Hello everybody, Goggle Staggercon here, and welcome back to Pokemon Shield. Last episode, we um, got here to, we ran through Route 3, got through a mine, and then ended up here in Aberry. I'm a, a, a berry. Pfft, no, that's the town this is based off. This is Turf Field. This, uh, this, this time, we are going to, my Lotus more than, he raised this beautiful flower suit. We're going to go over here to the Standing Stone and do... It says, it says grass. Now I don't know what what I'm supposed to do here. The strength of its strength in the end. What? Grass. I know grass is good. Grass is good against water. It says water. Now I know something around here is is like fire. I guess. There's got to be a fire one around here. Let's see if we can figure out which one it is. Oh, I bet this is it. It says fire. What, is there nothing there? Grass before the others. Maybe I have to do all of them. Really? No item there? No item? Oh, there's one here, though. Ah, Everstone. That'll keep a Pokemon from evolving. So if you don't want a Pokemon to, to evolve, you can just give it that. Brutal Swing. That just hits everything around you. Don't use that in double battles, multi-battles, whatever. Okay, so we got Grass, Fire, Water. I don't know which others there are. Okay. Grass is down there. Strength of its strength. Something that says dark. What? The so water's over there. Then we have poison. It says flying. This might take a while. I'm a very slow thinker, so I'll, so I'll cut ahead to when I figure it out. What on earth did she say? Grass before the... Uh, what? According to the treasure map, trick is probably from the land stones. You can throw three standing stones. Grass before the other ones. Use that well. Use well the strength and find the strength of strength in the end. Dally not if you mind if I found the left one. What the heck? All I can think about is, like, you know, the... Grass, water, and fire. Okay. Grass. Okay. Take yourself three standing stones. Three standing stones. See the three standing stones of Kepler. again. And then we get water, which I've done. Probably done this like five times. Man, I spent so long doing this that my head's starting to hurt. And then again, down here, it's got, it says fire. Down here is fire. And I did this the exact same way multiple times. Something buried in the ground. Uh, okay, now there's something here. Slightly boost of our super. What? Whatever, man. I don't like that. All right, all right, all right. Let's. No, I don't need to. I don't need to heal up. By the way, shut. May I help you? I'm here to buy. Please, I'm here to buy some potions. Five of those, please. Anything else? No. There's nothing else. On, nothing else here. Ay, 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 ay. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm gonna show you just how broken that is. 
yeah, I'm going to show you how broken the Vulpix method is. So yeah, basically, I've already done this. So let's go to boxes. Let's get Ninetales out again. And put Ninetales in place of... I don't know. Um... Aurelio, because I won't be using Aurelio in this battle at all. So let's get them back up to uh, let's get them up to a decent level, right? Uh, Uni, let's just do it one at a time. Okay, maybe six at a time. Fifteen. Okay, maybe not. Whatever. Um. Actually, you know what? We haven't done our daily Dynamax raid yet. I want to... Okay, so yeah. Every time I play this game, my plan is to go to the wild area, find the big pink raid, and do, and do that. So what we're going to do, since we can fly back here at any time, we're going to fly back to the um, wild area, scan for the big pink raid, which is literally right over here, that was quick. And since we're connected to the YCOM, we can just call people in. It is a normal type move. It is a normal type Pokemon. And so we will invite others. We'll switch our Pokemon to I don't know, stinking Stinky, stinking like, <laughs> I don't know, swoosh. <laughs> now let's um, throw in uh, Riolu. And of course, because it's a high-powered one, everybody here is ready to go. And start a battle, because everyone is ready. So, what do we got here? It's a Squavit. Uh, Squavits, I believe, give a lot of berries as their rewards. And you'll see this a lot. This is where you're going to see the most shinies, by the way. So yeah, we're just going to uh, quick attack this thing, just so we can get a chip hit in. <laughs> And of course, the surf has taken a while. Look at my goldie burb! There, I did something. Stole your thunder! Ha ha ha! Well, that was easy. Throw a Pokeball now! I'll throw it for the. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll throw it for the, uh, the Pokedex data, maybe. Go on, catch the thing. Come on. Stay in there, you little squirrely nut nut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butt. I don't know. And Squobit is now mine. Now let's see what we got. Yeah, look at all. Yeah, look, look at the. Oh, wow. Yeah. Got a lot of candies out of this guy. So maybe it's the Greedence that is, is specifically that give a lot of berries. Squobit's day will be out of the Pokedex. It eats berries non-stop. I'd like to give Squobit a bit. No. Box. Because I'm just going to trade it. I mean... If I can find the right button to do it with, jeez. So yeah, squub it. Go, please, go away. So yeah, we're just going to travel to back to turf field. Yes, take me to turf field, flying taxi man.
Condor's looking for a bug caterpillar man. Ben is totally not shiny hunting. <laughs> Trade completed. What do we get? Sending school up to Shorty. <laughs> to Shorty? What? what? Shorty. And he's sending over a rookity. More like rookie dook dookie. Jeez. I don't want you, rookie rookie D. Well, maybe depending on your level, I might use you. But you're probably level one. Right? Now you're level five, so somebody just caught you and traded you. Traded you. Whatever. Anyway, let's just get, um, let's get, um, Uni up to a higher level here, right? Actually, no. Uh, use on Uni. Just one at a time. 100. Okay, fine. 600 experience. 16. This is probably a thousand, right? No, that's 800. Seven, okay, 17 is good enough. So let's just go on in here, and we'll start the battle. Start the battle. I mean, start the thing. Take a look at this, Chris! The Grass Gem Badge! I got it in one try! It's the first gem! You also have a score bunny. I'm, I reckon I'm just about the greatest when it comes to wrangling Wooloo. I've had plenty of practice at it, after all. But sure, but I'm sure you can win this one too. After all, you are my rival. Also, because I'm going to show off the completely garbage Nine Tails strategy. Hello, Henlo. A friend ball. I never use these without save scumming it. A strange Pokeball that make wild Pokemon more friendly towards you immediately. You only get one of these in, like, the main story. You only get one of each Apricorn Ball, which I think is dumb. And then, like, in the expansion, you barely get to ha barely get it either. <laughs> that kid a Gym Challenger too? Yes. Busy. Yeah, you do trades. Heard that trainer is ri Hop's rival. Yeah, no, they heard me. Heard that trainer was endorsed by Leon himself. Hi, what do you say? Gym mission. I'm pretty good at dancing. Well. Ah, oh, welcome. Allow me to help you through your registration. First things first, have a quick refresher of the gym challenge. Your goal as a gym challenger is to complete each gym mission, then defeat er, then defeat every gym leader and gather eight gym badges. Got it. So, would you like to attempt the gym mission? Um, of course I would. If you would like to attempt the gym, please change it to your full. What do you think I'm wearing? <laughs> They let the gym mission begin. I guess I just had to take my bag off or something. Give it your best shot. Can't, wait, can't I just sit my bag down by the door over there? I can't remove my bag. So this... Yeah, um... <laughs> I actually really like this gym mission. It's kind of fun. And I love this music. Hello, yellow, yellow mustache man. The mission given by Turfield's Pokemon Gym Challenge is this. To chase our unruly Wooloo. Unruly Wooloo, you could say. To that blockade we've made from our bales of straw over there. I thought he was going to say bales of hay for a second. I mean, what's a bale of... Bale of hay, bale of straw, whatever. Oh, by the way, you can call me Dan. Hello, Dan. Hello, Failboat. <laughs> I serve as a referee, and it's also my job to report the results of battles to the League HQ. Now, let the gym mission begin. Okay, just roll these guys. Just keep rolling. And just roll on through. 20 of 20. Keep going, Wooloo.
Yep, just keep on rolling. Roll along, Pokemon. 20 of 20. And on to the next section. And we fight this dude. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, Ginchelli. Sorry, but I'll have to stop you since you're packing. It's my job. Wow, dude. You got the job I kind of want. A job just to make people go away. That's a flea word. That's a fear. Sibella blah blah Okay. I guess we'll just start off with confusion. I mean, why not, right? Punch yourself in the face. Or not. So yeah, um, we'll just switch to um, Tora Cat here. Um, D and D session is pinging me again. Man, why do you never? What? Come on! Why do these guys never punch themselves in the face when they should? Of course. Ember, super effective. Of course it's super effective. It's awesome. That's the first confused. Punch yourself in the face. That's right. That's what you're supposed to do. And Torcat's faster, too. Got some fainted. And level ups all around, or sort of. No. Torcat grew level 19. Sweet. Gym Trainer Samuel. As expected, the Gym Challenger and their Pokemon are in perfect sync with each other. Hey, I can totally skip this one trainer here by doing this. <laughs> it saves time for me. Okay, alright, Straggler, get in there. 20 and 20, get going, Wooloo. Where do those straw bales go? I mean, this isn't exactly very hard. <laughs> yes, fight me, please. Through this hurl of Wooloo. <laughs> Who's gonna fight me with these Wooloo here? At least let me get them out of the way. Leia. Well, you fancy yourself, fancy yourself some kind of princess? Alright, Sableye. You know what to do. I still need to switch. No. Yeah, thought you could just get off an attack like it matters? That was a critical hit. That was a critical hit. You call that a critical hit? Boo! And Bounce Wheat is gone. Like I expected. Sableye's leveled up again. Everybody's leveling up here. Oddish, yeah. We're switching. We're switching to Uni. Go, Uni. Her name Uni. Uni. Uni? I don't know. Yeah, just burn. Just burn it. Super effective! Oddish is down. Medic down. I don't know. And Riolu is level 19 now. Gosh. Next to the gym leader, right? What a strong challenger. If I couldn't pass the if I couldn't pass this for level one gym challenge, I'd be very concerned. Also, if you actually beat the um, if you can see right there, if you beat the gym challenge, the gym trainer, they'll actually like recall the um, 
the uh, the yampers and make it easier for you to get the Wulu through. But as you can see, my pl my path my path my path thing is so good I don't need that. And the Wulu are now in their pens. Goodbye, Wulu. It was fun. So now we just get on up here. I did it! Yay! Gym mission cleared. And I just waved. Who's watching me there? Also, how big is this gym to have this, to have it like this? Now, I always save at this point just to be just to be on the safe side in case I need to restart for anything. So now what it would be a good time, if you haven't already, to swap your Pokemon around. So I'm just gonna put Torcat up front. I am also going to use a uh dang it, I'm gonna use a berry. And with that out of the way, I think we're good to go. So let's get on in here and challenge the gym leader. Eight three one, Mr. Eight three one. Listen to that cloud crowd roar. My gym's the first one people face, so we get a lot of challengers. That's why I try to cheap, keep the gym mission challenging, but that didn't stop you from completing it. That wasn't challenging, that was straightforward and easy. Proper job. Sure seems like you understand Pokemon real well. This is going to be a doozy of a battle. I'll have to Dynamax my Pokemon if I want to win. What? You didn't Dynamax for any others? You say that like that means something, bro. Come on. And of course, my favorite music in the game. Now set up Gossiflor. And first up is my Cat. Let's do it! Dynamax energy gathered around me. Gossiflor's attack fell. The Dynamax Phenomenon. In the Gala region, Pokemon can become far larger than usual. You know, we know how it works. Press the Dynamax button when your Dynamax band lights up to Dynamax your Pokemon. The only Dynamax for three turns, though. During that time, your Dynamax Pokemon can use extremely powerful moves known as Max Moves. They not only deal tremendous damage, they can also trigger special effects. The exact effect changes depending on the type of move used. Choose carefully. So what we're just going to do is we're going to lead off with an Ember. Magical Leaf! What? Why is it called Magical Leaf? It's because they're, they change colors? Super effective! And Glossifleur is down! Which means we're, which means it's time for Eldegoss. Eldegoss, will I change my Pokemon? Um, yes, I will. We're gonna watch Uni swoosh right in. Go get him, Uni. We're not gonna get them. We're tough as weeds. So. Real quick, while I'm editing, while I'm editing this, I just wanted to point something funny out that I realized. Look at look at this right here, the the frame that it decided to pick for Milo. It picked the weirdest close up ever. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I just thought it was amusing. It's just like you go out a certain distance, it's like eyes. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I just thought it was amusing, and I, I did just wanted to share this because it got a chuckle out of me. All right, here's where the song gets hype. Dynamax, Max Flare. Just look how big this fox is. We're gonna make like Naruto up in here. Come on then, it's Dynamax time! 
I already Dynamax, bro. I like how he gives the Pokeball a little pat before he throws it. Nice and shiny, I like that. Use X Flare. Look how much damage that did, like right off the bat. So I'm turn hard, so that means I'm gonna get an extra power boost next one. It's our Dynamax move, let me guess, Max Overgrowth. Yep, 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 yep. And that's not gonna be very effective on me. I resist that, it's also going to start healing me. Not a very good idea. When you're fighting a Pokemon, the last thing you want to do is start healing the dang thing. Alright, just keep on going with your Max Flare. Come on! <laughs> you want to see a waste of, You want to see something useless. Look, if you want to see the most useless move in this game, take a look at... Take a look at Max Guard. And with this Max Flare, we've won the battle. And we've won. Wow, look at all those levels. Four level ups in one go. Wendy's level 18. Torakat's level 20. Torakat wants to learn double kick. We're not going to learn double kick. Change now level 70, and table is now level 20. Good work. The power of grass is wilted. What an incredible gem challenger. Now the power of grass is completely burned away. That must have been a fulfilling Pokemon battle for you. Yes. As proof that you have defeated Gym Leader, is allow me to present you with your very own Grass Badge. Handshake. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 25. You need to obtain all 8 Gym Badges to complete the Gym Challenge, and the only way is to defeat every Gym Leader. Challenger Chris, my most sincere congratulations on defeating Gym Leader Milo. Please accept this TM to commemorate your victory. Magical Leaf, which I am probably not going to use. It's a grass attack that never misses, though. Here you can have Milo's uniform to go with it. It's a replica, of course. Hello. Some advice for you, Chris. The Gym Challenge has a set order you'll need to follow. So that means your next stop should be in Holbury to meet Nessa. Holbury is just beyond Route 5. Or, since you got the Grass Badge, you could head to the Wild Area. It's a bit tricky to catch Pokémon that are higher level than the Pokémon on your team, but they make powerful allies if you succeed. That is true. And also, because we have a... have a, um... You know what? I'll start another... I'll start another trade. Just because. Yes, I would like to start a sub start a search. He is being saved, and because we've done that, let's put since we're done with this, let's put um, let's put uh, Aurelio back on the team in place of Uni. In fact, let's move Dratini up to the top because Dratini needs more experience. And also, since we have a new um, since we have a new badge. So we have a badge we can actually, um... Okay, never mind. 
Pokeball, Great Ball. Oh, actually, we do have we do have the ability to buy more stuff. So now we can actually buy Super Potions, which is a lot better. We can also buy Great Balls. So I'll buy... I'll buy uh, seven, seven, of, seven of these. Ten Super Potions. Let's also buy um, five Great Balls. And that should be enough. Anything else? Nope, I'm good. And with that, while we wait on our trade to finish, I, um... Actually, yeah. This will be a good place to end the episode. So, next time next time on, um... What game is this again? Next, Jesus. Next time on Pokemon Shield, we will head off to... Never mind. <laughs> Drogon. Bye, Rookity. Bro, what? What? Oh, or Orbeetle. This, in a Dusk Ball, Dusk Ball 2, Orbeetle is the final of, of all form of Blip Blood. Blip, Blip Blug. Bip, Bullet Bip Bug. Blip, Blip Bug. Orbeetle, the seven spot Pokemon. It emits psychic energy to observe and study what's around it. And what's around it can include things over six miles away. Isn't that crazy? What? What level is it? It's too high a level for me to train to play with. That's for sure. Yeah, 36. I can't use that yet. But anyway. Next time on Pokemon Shield, we'll be heading out this way, down across the bridge, towards the next route, and hopefully we'll get to um get to uh, the next town. I forget what it's called. What does it say? Holbury. Yes, we will head towards Holbury. See you guys then.